Hi, folks. Welcome to Crisco's Corner. Unfiltered commentary. And that's your truth, the real truth. Please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thank you for your support. Hi, folks. Welcome back to Curtis Ghost Corner. Well, I'm absolutely stunned. Stunned. I, I, I'm almost speechless, which is a lot for me because I got a big mouth. Casio Cortez is joining the Republican Party. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute before you say, oh, John, this is clickbait crap, blah, blah, blah. It's all over the, all over the media, all over the news. It's just breaking now. It's extraordinary. How she explains that finally she's realized that she was wrong this whole time. She's been getting all kinds of therapy. And being a sociopath, of course, that's a tough nut to crack. But she basically said she just realized, just hit her that using children for political and financial gain is evil. And I've been doing it for a while. And she said, it's just, I can't bring myself to do it anymore. It's extraordinary. I wrote some of them down. She's very, very apologetic and sorry that she called the Republicans racist. And especially some of her colleagues in the House. where they, she, threat, she said they tried to kill her and blah, blah, blah. And. She feels so badly about that. She is. She knows she can never apologize enough and never make up for the lies. And just the, just the meanness and evilness of it all. I mean, she's seen the light. She's very, very sorry. She said that, I'm paraphrasing all this now. They're not quotes. She's lying to the public this whole time, knowing it wasn't true. And just to make money and, and get your name out there. It's kind of like the thing on YouTube here where uh, those clicks and the number of views and all the likes and thumbs up and all the, on her Instagram and Facebook account, all the millions that follow her and all that. It just got to her, she said, and it was out of control. It just, it's just, it's extraordinary. It's extraordinary. I think in my personal opinion, when she was called on the surge at the border, she just recently said, I believe it was on Facebook or Instagram, I'm not sure, that it's not a surge. They're not insurgents and blah, blah, blah. And it's about white supremacy. And I think when they threw that six-month-old baby girl into the Rio Grande and the Border Patrol and other law enforcement had to go in and save her and saved her life. Six-month-old baby girl, almost drowned, reunited with her mother. I think that might have been it. I think that might have been it. I'm just guessing, of course. You know, changes like this, somebody that just completely does a 180 is never about one incident. It's always about a number of things creeping up over time. And then the last incident is the one that finally tilts the, the, the straw that broke the camel's back, so to speak, as the old expression goes. I'm absolutely stunned. I'm absolutely, I, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Good for her. She wants to help the American people. This isn't just about her anymore. She says, my ego was just too big. It's, it's hurt me, uh, my personal relationships. It's, it's, I feel so guilty. I'm so burdened by the fact that I've been screwing over the people I've been trying to help for years. I'm fairly new in Congress, but uh, all the damage and the people I've hurt, I, I just I feel bad. I can never make up for it, she said. I'm still paraphrasing. And she's sorry. She's going to do the best she can in the future to try to recoup the confidence in her as a member of the U.S. Congress. I, I don't know what to say. I'm 64. I've been following politics since I was a boy. I've never seen anything like this. 
The only other one I can think of is maybe George Wallace, the end of his life, uh, recanting all the racist stuff he used to do. I can't believe it. She finally saw that the the progressive Democrats and leftists are the true racists. They're the ones that categorize people by race and gender, and it's horrible. It's disgusting. She sees a segregation going on now with races, and it's just out of hand. Children and the trans issue, young, young boys want to be girls, and she's just finally, she just, I don't know if it was divine intervention or not. I really don't know. I can't say. But I can say this, though. April Fool. No, she's still a sociopath. No, all she cares about is herself. No, she could care less about people. It's all about me, 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 me. She is the poster child for the generation she's from. Now, not everybody from her generation acts like her, but damn near. Good 70%. She is the epitome of what's wrong with this country, the, the public school system, and the university system. This woman is defending the fact there's a surge at the border and there's kids seven times the amount of kids they need for it, these pods in holding areas. They're testing positive for COVID and they're letting them in. And she's saying this is no big deal. He threw a six-month-old baby in the Rio Grande River off the boat when they're trying to come in illegally. And the Border Patrol and others had to save this poor kid. She could have cared less. Doesn't fit in her narrative and doesn't put money in her bank account and doesn't put buyer votes. It doesn't make the people that she disagrees with look like monsters. She could care less. I was going to do a story on her and how she talked about the border crisis and all that, but I figured for April Fools, this is a this is a more fitting, a more fitting video. This this woman is, and I hate to give her any press time and all that. My channel is that big anyway; hardly anybody's going to see it, I think. But it's not the point. This woman is a sociopath. I mean, by definition, well, John, you're not a doctor. You couldn't, uh, yeah, I could pretty much see all the symptoms are there. Somebody's standing there talking to himself and answering himself back and forth. I don't have to be a doctor to know they're probably schizophrenic. And there's a whole bunch of AOCs in Congress right now, male and female. Swalwell's another one. We are in big Effing trouble. So maybe the April Fool's joke is on us. This woman is out of control. Go to the DailyMail.com and read the story. When she did her live, I think it was Facebook or Instagram, when somebody asked me anything type session and mentioned the fact these kids are basically in cages as well and they're seven times more than normal. How she talks about it's white supremacy. It's this. It's it's not. It's it's imperialism. Imperialism. These people are insane. I thought I was going to pull this for a joke and at the very end say April Fool, but I'm so pissed off at this woman and all of them just like her. I could scream. I've been dealing with most of my most of my political life. I was a councilman in the early 2000s here in upstate New York. And there's more of them, and they're more cult-like. They walk around like little robots and little zombies spouting the exact same thing. I wouldn't mind so much if people want to be back crap crazy. But here's the problem. These morons are in charge. They're in charge of running the wealthiest and the most powerful nation on earth. If that doesn't scare the hell out of you, nothing will. And until next time, goodbye and good luck.